Four years ago, the FBI launched what they call the Civil Rights Era Cold Case Initiative. Now, it takes a fresh look at some of the unsolved racially motivated homicides which occurred before 1970. Three of those cases are profiled in a dramatic new television series produced by CBS I Productions. The Injustice Files premieres tomorrow night on Investigation Discovery. The show features documentary filmmaker Keith Beauchamp, who teamed up with the FBI and uncovered fresh information even the agency could not. At night when the bomb went off, I remember her screaming, saying, that's Jackson. Lord have mercy, that's Jackson. She kept screaming it. On February 27th of 1967, Warless Jackson was driving home from Armstrong Tire, where he worked. What made his murder and this incident even more horrific was that his son, Warless Jackson Jr., found his father. She was blown off of the truck. Oh, man. And he just rocked my world, man, and took me up. This case has been unsolved since 1967. This is not a crime that one person could pull off. It just takes too many people to do what happened to Orlis. It takes too many people to build a bomb and plan this crime. There has to be other people that they talk to, a wife, a child, a neighbor. And it may take Keith knocking on dozens of front doors, but somebody will talk. Hello, Mr. Westbrook. Were you ever a member of the Ku Klux Klan? Well, now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna I'll sit here and answer a whole lot of questions. And here now is filmmaker Keith Beauchamp. Keith, good to see you this morning. Thank you for having me. What was it about these cases, these cold cases, that sparked this interest with you? Well, I will have to say my inspiration came behind my first film, The Untold Story of Emmett Lewis Till. Um, in 2004, uh, my documentary prompted the federal government to reopen the case after 50 years. And because I used that medium of filmmaking and saw what it could do to change history, in a sense, um, decided to produce another series and things of that nature to, on these cases. Were you at all surprised at the information that you were able to ascertain, being just a filmmaker and going up to these people and knocking on doors? Even the FBI said it may take you knocking on dozens of doors, but ultimately someone will talk. Yes. Um, you know, unfortunately, people are still afraid to talk to authority figures when they talk about these unsolved civil rights murder cases. And as a filmmaker, a layman, someone that get feel that that is touchable, um, I'm able to convince people to come forward and, and tell me their stories. Okay. So many of these cold cases exist from yes. so many decades ago. Yes. What was it about these cases that drew your interest? How did you select what cases? Well, we selected these cases off the Civil Rights Cold Case Initiative list that was released in February 2007. There were about 110 cases that, were, that was on this list, and we took a look at these cases and we just chose the ones that we felt are strong cases that we could go after. February is, of course, Black History Month, but you say this is not black history. It's not. And, you know, when you think about civil rights, everyone thinks it's a black and white issue or it's a black black history situation. But these stories are American history. We all have benefited from the American Civil Rights Movement. And I'm a firm believer if we forget our past history, will repeat itself. So that's why it's so important to tell these stories, to have a cleansing dialogue in this country about race. Keith? It's been good talking with you this morning. Thank you. You'll be very proud of this. Thank really you. good stuff. Keith Beauchamp. Thank, Thank you, Keith. Good to see you.